Great to catch up with Willie Mullins at the end of the Punchdown Festival. Of course, the charity race is still to come. Willie, it's been another great week here at the festival for you and your team. Thank you very much. We've nothing in the charity race. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not this year anyway, at least. <laughs> um, starting with Echoes and Rain, that was electric today. She was very good. Mm. Um, just settled. She, you know, There was enough of pace there. She wears it well, set the pace, and ran a cracker, ran her best race all year, and got some grade one black type for her. Uh, so that was very good. She's in full, I think, to walk mm. in the park. So um, that's good. Are we going to go to Royal Asco with her, or is it? Is, is it I'm uh, not sure. I mean, she could earn a lot of money on the flat, but it drives her head scatty for jump racing. And you know, I'd love to get her back to Cheltenham for the Mayor's Hurdle again next year, but mm. get her in a better frame of mind when she races on the flat. It you know it just plays with her mind a mm. bit. So we, we'll see. But you know, there's such. Could prize me for those staying rest on the flat too, you know. <laughs> just be the average last year, of course. That, that's right, you know. If you go back there, you know that'd be fantastic. But she could do that. So indeed we'll see. It, indeed, it would. Uh, Lossy Mal was very good, but uh, Zark the Brave was a huge run by him off the tracks since Yeah, Zark the Brave looked very good early in the season, but he got a colic and mm. had an operation. So it was tremendous to get him back in one piece and put in a run like that. Probably left a juicy handicap behind him doing that, but still nicer to have good horses uh, mm. doing it right. And uh, Lossy Mouth has been at every cockfight uh, all season, and still to pull out a run like that mm. is huge, you know. So the two, two nice, uh, and then and then Gala Marceau was third, you know. So she ran great too. She did indeed, and uh, it was a good run by her as well. And that sharp turn of foot that Lossy Mouth has, how will that transfer to next season as a five-year-old? Uh, sorry, say <laughs> that having again. that sharp turn of foot that yes. she possesses. Well, she stays as uh, she has a turn of foot. She stays. Uh, I'll give her a good break now, come back for the mayor's hurdle. And, you know, normally those juveniles want to be stairs, but I think she might have enough speed. She could be a champion hurdle horse, possibly in two years' time. Mm. We'll give her every chance to mature. And uh, Aon was very good, a likely raised 10 year old. He got a big pot today for yeah. his horse, Susanna Ritchie. He, he did. Uh, Danny was very good on him. Um, made waiting the worth, you know, worthwhile. So I uh, don't know where I'm going to go with him <laughs> now, but. He's only, I think, at about 10 runs, mm. and he's only a 10-year-old. That could be, be his 11th <laughs> run, you know, so he's fairly fresh. I have to try and find a nice race. I'm not sure coming up the hill in Galway, you, you'd, you'd automatically think back to the Galway play, but that was three miles and mm. seven, wasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yes. But, but then there were a lot of people here thinking today that he wouldn't stay, you know? Mm. But I think it's probably the first time in his life he, he was really fit. Yeah, exactly. So he's getting a few runs into him in consecutive time. Yeah, I was able to get runs into him this year. Other years he just had problems and we never really got him right. And indeed, of course, you're a crown champion trainer again today. Thank you, yeah. Uh, just down to the brilliant team we have at home. We've all started my wife, Jackie. And then son, Patrick, uh, David Casey, Ruby Walsh and Ben Delmar, who's our travelling head man. Mm. And, you know, the whole way, the staff down along, Dick Dowling, Rachel Robbins at home, and um, you know we're very, we're lucky to have the crew we mm. have. Everyone's pulling in one direction. Yeah, and uh, you know they they just get on and do the job. I'm very lucky to stay here talking to the likes <laughs> of you. <and> <laughs> the highlight of the season, Gallop and Sean surely in the Gold I, Cup. I imagine the Gold Cup was. Yeah, I mean it was a lot of. We thought we put ourselves under a lot of pressure because <laughs> people said he wouldn't stay, and we sort of stuck our necks out and said he would, and um, you know so that. That to me, it was a ter terrific ride by Paul. Mm. You know, Paul riding all season two has been brilliant. Mm. Uh, you know, when you look at I am Maximus, Galpin de Champ, uh, Gaelic Warrior here yeah. the other day, those type of rides, mm. Echoes in Rain today, another one. You know, there people look at them and say they're easy, but when you, I mean, Echoes in Rain, you know, she's tough. She pulls, mm. she drags. Gaelic Warrior, he can be very, very hard to ride. He, mm. you know, but he, he had the confidence uh, to ride him, and. You know, it's not like they're push-button horses. These horses mm. take a bit of hauling around the place and trying to curb their enthusiasm and only deliver your challenge at the right time. Paul has just become a, a master of that art. Indeed, and it's his sixth champion jockey award here today. It's a fantastic achievement. He's only, what, 32 or 33 years old? That's right, yeah. And not to forget Jody, his mm. sister. And, um, you know, she's, I think that's her third or fourth, is it? It is, yes. Yeah, yeah. Third, at Th least third, third anyway, anyhow, yes. Yeah and uh, it's a tremendous achievement for, for the family. Indeed it is, and just uh, quickly, Gallop and Shams, how was he since uh, running here early in the week? He, he's good, uh, we'll just let him down now, get him out to grass. I, I won't bring him anywhere else, he, he's done everything nice for the season, so very happy with him. Well done again. Thank you very much, Fran. Cheers. Thank you. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.